So here is one of the worst things you can do while fishing, and it is something that I was afraid of and managed to do. So let me start out the story for you. So we were fishing six days ago, sturgeon fishing. Typically, what you do when you're sturgeon fishing is, is it's a lot like catfishing. You just fish off the bottom, put some gross bait on there, and sturgeon like it. So we went out there, had a great day. Fishing was pretty good. We got 24 between the three of us. Tons of good scenery. The weather was nice. Fishing was good. Not the best that I've ever seen there, but it was still nice to be able out there and go have a really good day. So it was the perfect day until disaster struck. I had my tripod up on a cooler and I was actually using it to film. I had had a whole day's worth of footage and we were about an hour from leaving and we hit a wave and it fell into the river. And mind you, that's an 80 foot river about where we were. So there was no way I could have gotten it. I had it resting on the back of the cooler, so I thought it was safe. We hit a wave, it fell over and rolled straight off. And I had actually grasped the end of the tripod, I almost had it. So what you are seeing in this video is a completely new GoPro, same model, same make. It's just a different, obviously, camera. And so I was really mad because I was out $300 and I had lost a whole day's worth of footage that was gonna be a full video. And so I was really excited to get my first fishing video out there and then I dump all the footage and all the evidence into the river. It was a complete disaster. Something I was scared about doing the whole entire day and it almost fell in a couple of times. I should have been smart and just, just you know, said screw it and put the camera back in my bag, but I, wanted to get more footage and really I wouldn't have missed out much if I would have put it back in my bag. The other thing is is the whole reason why I had to film with a tripod was because I forgot one little clip for my GoPro chest cam and if I wouldn't have forgotten that clip I would have had my chest cam. This never would have happened so that was my fault for you know overlooking something. I forgot that you actually needed that clip for the chest cam to work so that ended up being a disaster. But over and all, I just wanted to tell you guys about that day because it was a really good day until that happened. It was disappointing that that kind of had to be the way the day ended off. But we had a really nice drive um, up to Portland and we got there faster than normal and traffic wasn't bad. The weather was nice all day. I got majorly sunburned. So there's that. Yeah, we just we got to have a day out of the house and that was good. It was nice to finally have a good day of fishing, especially in winter. In Oregon, it's not always something that you can count on. And so I was happy that I got to go out there and catch some fish. I promise you guys, now that I got this new GoPro and the new tripod, which this tripod, one of the good things about this tripod is it's actually double the length of my other one. So that will give me better angles and better, I would say, better footage. It was really hard to fish and film at the same time. I had some pretty good footage, I would say, for what I could do with the tripod and having to have two hands on the rod because those fish are big. I promise you guys that spring and summer is gonna be a lot better. I got tons of uploads and ideas coming. Um, I know of a few places where we're going already. I also got a couple mystery, mystery vlogs coming up, so that's gonna be nice. But other than that, I just wanted to, to let you guys know that anybody can drop a camera into a river and anybody can make a major mistake like that. So basically my point is to be really careful with electronics around water because clearly I thought I was taking care of my camera and one false step and then I didn't even have a camera. And after that, I, I had basically ordered another camera immediately after because this GoPro is something that I didn't want to not have. Let me reword that. A GoPro, it was almost like a necessity for me, so I felt like I needed to have another one so I can continue to document my adventures. Now, that's pretty much it, but I just want to let you guys know that GoPros are waterproof, but they do not belong in the river. All right. This video was kind of more of something for me to do to fill my day, you know, just to sit around and waste time because I have nothing else to do, and I wanted to film a video. I should have another video coming April 1st. Uh, I was hoping to have more videos in March, but like I said, one fell through and then a couple other ones didn't become videos because I didn't catch any fish. So for every video or so that you see from me per month, there's probably two 
or maybe even three videos that never even happened because of bad weather or because of no fish. So I'm really trying to get content out there, but it's gonna happen, I totally promise. I got good ideas. Some of the stuff I think I've got coming may have never been done on YouTube before as far as the way I do it. And I think I really have a chance to put out some different content. So if you like different content, make sure to go down there, like, comment, and subscribe. This video wasn't a happy video like I had hoped for, but it was more of an informational video. Just kind of a recap of what happened and why I lost my camera because I wasn't being responsible. So I'm trying to help you guys avoid those mistakes. And don't be stupid like me, that's basically the goal. Yeah, anyways, go down there, you know, support my videos so I can make better, more happy, positive videos, more fishing videos, more vlogs, camping, all that good stuff. Because we got it coming. We got it coming, boys, I promise. Peace.